much did you end up having to put down? So just tell us the price, the price of this and stuff. Yeah. So this one, this one is uh 815 is the purchase price. And so we put 81 down or 82 down at 10%. Um, that's like 10%. I mean, that's awesome. Yep. Got 10% down as well as, um, uh, they, they then cut you a check for some working capital. And so your loan is, you know, you know, we put 10% down and then, um, got a little bit of money back to basically that's what I'm going to fix the gate with. And so, uh, I'm not going to be in the hole, so to speak, um, out of the gate. Um, and I got three months of um, interest only payments uh, to start out. So I have a nice opportunity to, you know, collect funds and build um, build uh, the money in the account in case something else goes wrong. The good news was one of the reasons, another reason I was interested in the facility is they had just resealed the roofs. And so all the roofs have been sealed within the last year, um, which is not terribly expensive, but it's not cheap. Um, and they had replaced... I think it's 165 units and they had replaced over hundred doors, uh, which if you know how much doors cost, that costs a good amount of money as well. So mm -hmm. that's good. All right. So you got some stuff done and then how much did they end up? Like, did you just tell them, you know, I'm going to have to put a new gate in, so I'm going to need 10 grand or like, how did that work? You know, it's actually, they, they, to be honest with you, either I hadn't done the homework or this was their own thing or whatever, but like they, they brought that idea to me. They said, do you need some working capital in this? Um, and I was like, not necessarily, but once again, it, it kept that money in our account to invest on something else. And so, yeah, so I'll take some working capital. You know, I got a, um, a solid interest rate because this, thankfully, we got locked in before the April 1st and all that stuff. So um, I was definitely below the, the current interest rates. Um, so that was, you know, uh, a relief. Um, that was another reason I didn't want to extend out one more time, because if we extended one more time, we would have been into the new um, interest rate period. And so it would, it would have automatically been driven up. Um, so they brought the idea of do you need some working capital? And so um, I said, yeah, I could, you know, they and I don't, somehow they produced the number and they said, is this number OK with you? And it was it was really close to what I expected the gate repair to be. Um, and so I said, yeah, that's fine. And we went with it from there. Okay, cool. So, I mean, I guess, yeah. So if you're, I mean, if they can really do 10% down, it's totally worth it, but you just have to be able to wait for, for five or six months. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, um, the, the seller has to be patient. Uh, this was off market. It had it been on market, this would have never worked because they would have not waited. If it had been an on market deal, they would have quickly cut ties with me and take, I mean, this is a cash buy for many people, not for me, but for many people, this is a cash buy um, or a 50% down buy. And so they would have taken their money and closed in 30 days and I would have been lost or 45 days probably. And I just would have been, you know, I would have missed it. Um, but because it was an off market deal um, and because, you know, we had started the conversation a long time ago and kind of, I would say we built a relationship, we built a rapport for sure. Um, and I think that allowed him, you know, the sellers to be a bit more patient with that process. But yeah, 10% mm -hmm. down for real. Like it's, it's done and that's what we that's got really out of it with. Good. So. I think that's really good. So you just have to be patient. And then if you know you want to do an SBA loan, honestly, I would just put like six months and tell the seller, like, look, it's going to take six months just so you know, because I think over time it's going to take even more and more time. It's going to take a lot longer to close. So you got sure. stuck right into the part, like right into the time where they're doing all the loan, you know, modifications, changing the numbers, increasing them, and people are just starting to freak out and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, obviously, in my, in my dream world, I would have found this deal six months earlier because, uh, you know, they were waiving SBA fees, for example. Mine does not. I have the fees on mine. Um, and that's, you know, for this loan, it's around seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000. So it's not cheap, but it's built into the loan. So I didn't come with that money for closing. Um, but uh, one year ago today, SBA loans, there were, there were no fees for SBA loans. They were fantastic. So, I mean, it was so much better uh, terms than they are currently. Um, but basically, they just, they, they, so many people jumped on this. I think they had, they started making the adjustment. Of course, with inflation and everything, they started making some adjustments. Um, so, you know, 18 months ago, 12 months ago, this deal would have looked even better. Um, but it wasn't there for me and I couldn't get it closed in time. So, it, it is what it is. Um, you know, looking at my numbers, obviously we're, we're two weeks in, so I, I don't, I don't know the real numbers yet. Um, but, uh, and as I said, I haven't seen the facility. I'm going down Friday to see it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, uh, most of, most of it I'm looking forward to seeing. So, um, that should be fun. You know, it'd be, it'd be, uh, since I'm back in the U S now, 
um, and I have access to getting down there. If I need to get down there, and, you know, quickly, I can. Um, living abroad, of course, that was much more complicated, especially during COVID, because we were in Jamaica, for example, and the island was actually closed for a year. So there was no inbound traffic for a year. And so we spent a year um, on island and the first facility that we purchased was during that period of time. So I sent, you know, uh, I had some notarized papers sent in and I wasn't at the closing and that was okay. You know, there's no problem. You don't have to be in closings anymore. Um, obviously I wasn't at this Florida closing either. So 